This is Parker. Parker is sad because his favorite color is blue, but all they sell at the LED store is red lights. Poor Parker. Hi, Parker. My name is Matt Man. Why the long face? Hi, Matt Man. All I wanted for my birthday was a blue LED light, but the LED store says they can't make them. Fear not, Parker. Matt Man is here to help. All we need to do is teach the LED store how to produce gallium nitride. Gallium nitride is an especially interesting exotic alloy that exhibits semiconducting properties. It has recently become very well known as the best semiconductor for blue laser diodes. Gallium nitride is notoriously hard to manufacture, as it requires high temperatures and high pressures. Though researchers have been pursuing gallium nitride since the 1960s, it was only in the 1990s that several breakthroughs made gallium nitride production possible. Today, gallium nitride is much more easily produced and exhibits numerous research and industrial applications. What sort of applications? I'm glad you asked. Gallium nitride is used to create nanotubes, Blu-ray discs, solar panels, and most importantly, blue LEDs. Awesome. What makes gallium nitride so useful is the ability to produce low wavelength light, and this is due to its wide energy band gap, around 3.2 eV. This wide energy band gap is due to strong electronegative bonds between small atoms, and that's why nitrides like gallium nitride tend to have the widest energy band gaps. Gallium nitride has several very unique structures as well, called cubic zinc blend, cubic rock salt, and hexagonal wurtzite. However, the hexagonal wurtzite is much higher quality for manufacturing of these blue diodes than the cubic structures are. I have no idea what that means. It's okay, Parker. That's because you aren't in Matsai 220 with Steve. Well, how do we make it? I'm glad you asked. Metal organic vapor phase epitaxy, or MOVPE, is when pure gases are injected into a reactor and an ultra-thin layer is deposited onto a semiconductor wafer. This wafer is usually composed of sapphire or silicon oxide, as well as other possible um, substrates. However, the problem with these substrates is that they're not perfectly aligned to the crystal structure of gallium nitride. Even though there is this mismatch, the growth of gallium nitride on the substrate is still good enough to produce these blue diodes that they need for manufacturing. Trimethyl gallium and ammonia gases are put onto the substrate at very high temperatures above 1,000 Kelvin to deposit a thin layer of the gallium nitride onto the semiconducting wafer. Whoa! That's right, Parker. In just a few short minutes, I should be done with this epitaxy and you will have your blue LED. But first, check out this awesome phase diagram so you understand what exactly I'm doing to this gallium nitride. Wow, that makes sense. Thanks so much, Matt Man. You really saved the day. Now I can go scamper through the fields with my friends in my new blue LED light. No job is too small. No phase too exotic. For Matt Man.